I say, Dickie, yeah? what, what, what is this song we've made so famous? Oh, you mean the one that goes... Uh, Kevin? <laughs> well, I don't know. The title's in the last line, and we've never got as far as that. Oh, no, of course not. Well, <laughs> anyway, Dickie, I think we've parked, uh, packed everything now, don't you? Yeah. Uh, by the way, have you seen Auntie Jessie's chest? I beg your pardon? <laughs> Keep the repartee clean. No, no, no. I mean, that old tin trunk that we keep all the odds and ends in. Oh, yes, yes. Is that worth taking with us? Well, I think we ought to look through it. All right, well, here it is under the copper. Come all on, right. give us a hand. Let's open it here. Oh, oh look, big. What a lovely lot of things. Oh, aren't they grand? What's this? Oh, Dicky, look. It's one of our fireworks. Do you yeah. remember? Ben Wagon number 20. <laughs> uh, shall I leave go now? No, no, not yet. It's getting a bit warm. Oh, there's a lot more blue paper. Oh, I wish I'd put my gloves on. Oh, I think it's gone out. No, it hasn't. Yes, it has. It hasn't. It's gone out. Look, yes, it has. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the firework hadn't gone out, but Arthur has through the roof. Ah, happy, happy days. days. Well, we can't throw that firework away. No, I'll put it back. Here, what's this? Oh, it's my copy of Shakespeare. Big, do you remember when I was going to play Romeo for the BBC Amateur Dramatic Society? Oh, yes, and I helped you to rehearse by reading Juliet's part. Oh, yes, that was bandwagon number 33. Now, all right, I'll read Juliet. Now, where did you say the scene was? An orchard. Oh, well, we ought to have a bit of atmosphere, you know. Yes. I'll tie this apple onto the gas bracket. That's a good idea. And you can stand on the mantelpiece and pretend it's the balcony. Oh, it's a bit narrow, isn't it? Did Juliet fall? Not till later. Oh, well, now, look, I'll... Uh, I'll play it my own way. Right, come on, big then. Up on the balcony. Up the daisy. Whoops, a blooming Juliet. Now, here's the book. And then go Careful, on. page uh, eight, eight, 892. Let's go. 892. Are you ready? <laughs> I'll take it from where you come on. You from where I come on. What right. I say is this, uh, What light through yonder window breaks? <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You've knocked the clock off. Well, that's how we got it. <laughs> Don't knock about. Now, start at your speech. Start at my speech? Yeah. We're here? That's it. All right. Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Oh, no, now, now, wait a minute, Arthur. Don't forget that Juliet was a very attractive girl. Oh, yes, I forgot that. <coughs> oh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? Well, go on. Well, don't you answer me, then. What do you mean, answer you? Well, when I say, Ro Ro <coughs> Romeo, 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 wherefore art thou, Romeo? You ought to say, I'll give you two guesses or something like that, you know. <laughs> Otherwise, well, it'll be very flat. Flat? Yes, you've got to get a few laughs. Oh, don't be silly. This is a tragedy. Oh, there's no need for it to be. We could make it very funny. Listen, don't laugh about. Go on, read that speech again. All right, but I, but I can't do it like this, you know. And I'll strangle myself. Well, won't sound much like Juliet if you don't. Well, pretend she's got a cold. After all, it's quite possible. Standing on the balcony in her neglige. <laughs> in her what? Neglige. Don't you speak French? <laughs> Don't be silly, that's pronounced negligee Well, it France. was pronounced neglige at our school. <laughs> oh, the Amateur Dramatic Society at the blooming BBC. They were happy days for you and me at the dear old BBC. Oh, I say, Dickie, here's the two mob caps we use when we spring clean the flat. Oh, yes, Mrs. Bagwash's first time here. Bandwagon number 15. Uh, pass the carbolic, Arthur. Wouldn't you sooner have a cup of tea? No, no. <laughs> oh, I say, Dickie. What? This settee's filthy. Yeah, we'd better get a loose cover for it. I'm not going to have anything loose in this flat. <laughs> well, what about the chandelier? That's been loose ever since we've been here. You better be careful how you dust it. Oh, that's all right. This chandelier's been in my family since it was a nightlight. Nevertheless, it's loose. I think you'd better leave it to Mrs. Bagwash. Mrs. Bagwash? Who's she? The woman who's come in to help us with the spring cleaning. Well, where is she? She's in the kitchen, doing the floor. Well, she's very quiet about it. Ah, it isn't the people who make the most noise who do the most work. Oh, oh can it be you? Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, what are you doing? You know, Dickie, we should have paid that extra ten shillings on this vacuum cleaner and got the bag with it. <laughs> Oh, listen, there's a knock at the door. Never mind, Mrs. Bagwash will go. Mrs. Bagwash? Who's she? The woman who's come to help us with the spring cleaning. Well, she's very quiet, isn't she? Ah, but it isn't the, the people, people who make the most noise and do the most work. Oh, <laughs> come on, Arthur. I say, Arthur, which yes? way up does this picture of Reggie Fort go? Oh, either way, it doesn't matter. Right. <laughs> now, I'll hold the nail, yes. and when I nod my head, you hit it with the hammer. All right. Oh, no, the nail, you fool. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Why don't you talk distinctly? Well, anyway, I'm going up the ladder now to dust the chandelier. Yeah, well, be careful. Remember, it's loose. Oh, I, I can't reach it. I'll have to jump and hang on. You ought to be careful. It won't bear your weight. Oh, yes, it will. Light-hearted Arthur, that's me. Whoa, he flies through the air with a great... Oh, Dickie, what? now I know. Know what? Where the flies go in the wintertime. <laughs> Well, don't come down the ladder, Arthur. I've taken it away. Well, don't you stand underneath. You'll get all covered with dust. Well, whatever you do, don't swing about too much or you'll have it down on my head. Now, don't be silly. I won't do anything of a sort. Whoa! Oh! It isn't the people who make the most noise. Oh, happy days. Well, we'll have to keep the mob caps. Yes, put them back, Big. Oh, look, here's another hat. It, it's a school cap. Oh, don't bring that near me. I might put it on. <laughs> all right there are no photographers about oh it's ernie bagwashes is it it was the one he wore the night he recited at our christmas party oh yes van wagon number 31. come along eddie you'll have a piece of cake if you say your recitation nicely the bills thought we've got ellen too <laughs> have the middle of it in bills the golden bills what a world of happiness sir harmony for chills through the balmy air of not how they ring out their delight from the most in golden notes. I told in time, was a liquid ditty flute. <laughs> to the turtle dove, who listens while she gloats on the moon, all oh, from out the sounding stone. What a gush of you for me, the luminous of rules. How it swirls, how it swirls. <laughs> on the future, how it chills, with a rapture that impels. To the ringing and the swinging of the bills, bills, bills. To the song and the drumming of the bills. E.A. Poe, can I have my piece of cake now, Auntie? Ah, oh, not so happy days. Oh, I say, Dickie, what's this? It's, it's one of Reggie Fort's albums of restful organ music. Oh, Dickie, playing the organ. Yes, bandwagon number 13.